So if you're sampling Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, or the S20 Ultra, I'm going to show you how to enable or turn on USB debugging. Okay, very, very simple. The first thing we got to do is we need to enable developer options. So let me start from the beginning here. I'm going to go ahead and disable it right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn developer options off. Now what we're going to do first thing is we're going to go ahead and enable developer options. So first thing is go into your settings. You can just simply swipe up, tap on settings right here. And then scroll all the way down to the very, very bottom here. Now it says about phone down here. Now the thing is, once we enable developer options, it's going to show up right below about phone. Okay. So tap, so first tap on about phone. And then you see software information. Tap on that. And now we see build number. What you want to do is tap that seven times. Okay. So just keep tapping. And it's going to give you a countdown right here. Three steps away from being a developer. Two steps, one step. And then go ahead and put in your password or your pin or swipe code, and then go ahead and click on next. It says developer mode has been turned on. Okay, now, the only thing you have to do is tap on the back button here, tap on the back again. Now remember, about phone was the last one down here, but now if we slide down, we have one more. What do you know? It's developer options. Go ahead and tap on that, and then you wanna go ahead and you wanna look for USB debugging, which is right under debugging, right here, USB debugging right here. Okay, now take note, the thing is with the USB debugging here is, or, or um, developer options, we always have this on now, okay? Developer options are always going to be down here below about phone, but if you want to go ahead and disable developer options, you can just go ahead and untoggle it off, okay? Now the thing is if you un untoggle it or turn it off, the thing is it's not going to be back under here under about phone. So if you want to go ahead and bring up enable developer options again, then you have to do the same process over software information. And then you want to go to, or let me, let me go back here. So, uh, software information and then build number. You just want to tap it like a bunch of times and put your password in. So pretty simple. Any issues or anything that's coming up. All right. See you in the next one. Bye.